So would any of you uh, can share any project uh, uh, details or a story that uh, maybe you recently worked on that um, you know, used uh, or incorporated digital twins where, uh, you know, there were some actual savings or pro- process efficiencies uh, were realized uh, because the digital twins were used. And that was like sort of, uh, you know, a reconfirmation to the, all the stakeholders that uh, we are on the right strategy and use of this digital technologies does, does help you out. Jared, Jared. Jared. Can you share the project from the Congo as well as some of the other projects we've been, um, we've been working on? Sure. So in, well, a couple of years ago, maybe a year or two ago, we were in the year awards for a project in the Congo where we did exactly that, Abbas. And Dan, we, we took um, the digital twin and we used that to take a very remote site and a very remote project using cutting edge technology to really blow out conventional KPIs. So we delivered well ahead of schedule and under budget using digital twin workflows and practices to, in essence, deliver a project to a client in in the middle of the Congo jungle, right? Very, very far away from networks and skilled resources and whatnot. So it was a a clear indication to us and the client that this can be done. Um, You know, you put the right time and attention to to the case and, and using digital technologies and, and work processes that can be done. There are a few obviously f- additional examples of projects since then where you know we've taken, I'll use a, a web design review example of it, dispersed work for workforces, global work sharing practices, and both internal and external teams where we were able to, you know, in, in, in the word term Andrew used, in, in real time, expose design developments to all stakeholders and therefore they could buy into you know design practices potential flaws with design from site operations people giving early insights they were looking at the design as we were authoring it um, whether that be the clients whether it be their subcontractors that were going to you know, doing bidding for construction we were all singing from the same song sheet it was a single data set being leveraged by all parties to ensure a successful outcome and we can point to a, 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 a few projects that will allow us to achieve that, right? Um, there's, there's, there's infrastructure projects here in Australia that we've achieved that, that have had actually a very high mandate of, of BIM. You know, our, our Department of Transport in Australia sounds to be a little bit more advanced. They, they were quite prescriptive with digital and, and BIM data our deliverables and outcomes for them to achieve that. You know, the government was very prescriptive. And we had to prescribe to that, configure our environment to achieve that. And in essence, it was a, it was a great success story considering how many joint venture parties were parts of delivering that, that government project. So it was a significant rail infrastructure project. And there's a few examples of that in Canada and America for us too. So you've actually taken this and, and put it into all sectors of, of, of the aspects of work that Hatch participates in, mining and metals, infrastructure and energy. And we've seen great value. And, and interesting, just to add to that, um, Jared, we're certainly starting to see now, well, we have for a little while, but uh, almost every proposal that comes across our our, um, our desk these days has some um, expectation around around digital delivery and digital twins as an outcome. Um, and uh, things like ISO 19650 um, are really starting to drive uh, some uh, – some visibility of that too in the industry. Um, it's starting to be referenced uh, much more. Um, so there's certainly a, a big push from our clients um, more and more to uh, to deliver digitally um, and for digital outcomes um, because of what they're hearing about things like you know, projects in the Congo as well as the opportunities that uh, that you can get into the into the operations and maintenance side um, around uh, establishing a digital twin. I think these are really exciting stories and uh, on the project uh, uh, success uh, cases. Uh, I remember the project that you just mentioned, the uh, of uh, DRC, uh, and the IRI, it actually won uh, an uh, Queen Digital Award in our infrastructure conference uh, in Singapore uh, a couple of years back and um, has been, uh, you know, uh, showcased in uh, various white papers too. So thanks, thanks for sharing that. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.